My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. The snow-capped mountains of northern Utah are famous for being the setting of the 2002 Winter Olympics. The higher elevation allows even the hottest temperatures of the year to be tolerable to humans and the wildlife it sustains, including the rare and beautiful smooth green snake. Finding one in the state of Utah is especially exciting, because Utah is the westernmost state this snake can be found. I had been waiting for years to live the moment I find one, and it happened to be on my 17th birthday. Come on, give me a snake. Yes! Two of them! Oh my god! Those are smooth green snakes! Oh my god! Oh, this is the best birthday ever! Oh! Look at this. This right here is the smooth green snake. These snakes are completely harmless, non-venomous, so don't worry about me getting bit. I never really actually got bit by this snake. All it did was kind of threaten me with its mouth wide open. And maybe that's something all smooth green snakes do. Let me know in the comments if you have seen a smooth green snake open its mouth as a threat display. These guys are very cold tolerant. In fact, they actually prefer higher elevations, or even up to 9,000 feet above sea level. And I'm pretty high right now. We're about like, what, six, 7,000 feet above sea level maybe? I think so. We're really high. And another thing I love about these snakes is not only are they green, their tongue is also green. Normally, so I'm gonna stop us right here because uh, I lied. Um, their tongues are not green um, because the idiot that I am uh, that happens to be colorblind tells everybody on the internet that their tongues are green when in fact they are more of a bright orangish color. But uh, now you guys know, it's still a very unique color to a snake. I am not used to seeing snakes with such a bright tongue like that. So I still think it's really interesting. Um, let me know if you think so too in the comments below. Um, but yeah, apparently it's not green. And this one's shedding right now, huh? Yeah, this one is in shed. That is why this one is not very bright. And what happens just before they shed is they produce this little oily substance, and that kind of goes in between their new layer and their old layer of skin to make it easier to come off. So what do these guys eat? When these guys are little, they're mostly insectivores, uh, which means they eat bugs, insects, sometimes arachnids, uh, maybe even centipedes and millipedes. But usually these guys like to prey on snails, slugs, and worms. Does the smooth green snake make a good pet snake? And the answer is no. You know, worms are not the easiest thing to come across unless you find them in your backyard, and even then they might contain parasites and stuff like that that's not good for the snake. Um, and these guys are almost never found in captivity. But if you want a small, adorable little snake that you, that you think is really, really pretty, get yourself a garter snake. Those are much better pets. Rough green snakes, their close cousin, are a much more arboreal snake found in trees and stuff like that. These guys are much more terrestrial, which means they live on the surface of the ground. They're found under rocks and they're found under logs. Thank you so much for taking the time to educate yourself on this incredible species. I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cooler snake. At the time of finding this snake, it had been the rarest species I had ever found in the wild. It feels almost as if I had made a scientific discovery. The search for something rather uncommon takes research, experience, time, and most importantly, luck. So though I did my research to give myself the best possible chance, I'm still very, very lucky to have found these gorgeous serpents at all. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe. No, don't go. Make sure you like and subscribe. Okay, bye. <laughs>